Hey, what's going on, guys? Goose here, man. Coming back at you with another video. And before I get started, if you're new to the channel, make sure you like, subscribe, ring the bell, and do all that mumbo jumbo. All right, so uh, every week since the football season is about to come upon us, we are in the uh, official first week of the college football season. I will be doing a preview of the top 25. We'll go over the ranked matchups and um, and see uh, how things will shake up in the first week of the college football season. So, so the season will start actually on uh, for ranked teams on Thursday. I know they, I know there were some games last week, uh, but man, for the most part, uh, big game. Well, you know, there, there are some big games this week. There are some big games that uh, are in ranked matchups. Anyway, so Oklahoma State uh, they'll face Central Michigan on Thursday night. They are a 21 and a half point favorite. Are the Cowboys? They went 12 and two last season, and of course they lost in the Big 12 title game uh, to Baylor. But uh, Oklahoma State should be another good team again, and they're favored by 21 and a half over Central Michigan. They'll win that game. Uh, from the cover, I'm gonna say yeah. All right. So next we got uh, Pitt. Pitt is the reigning ACC champs. They're ranked 17th. And they'll face uh, West Virginia in the backyard brawl, brawl on Thursday night in Pittsburgh. And Pittsburgh is a seven and a half point favorite. As Pittsburgh, uh, Keaton Slobus will transfer from USC over to uh, the Pitt. And uh, although they did lose their, you know, their their big receiver Addison to USC, but uh, Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh, um, Pittsburgh should win this game. But um, my phone screwed up. There it is. But um, hmm. I'm just thinking about the spread, seven and a half. Give me, give me Pittsburgh, but uh, I'm gonna say it's not. I'm gonna say since it's a rivalry game, it'll be uh, they won't cover. All right, you got Wake versus for Wake Forest, ranked number 22 in the country versus VMI. That's also on Thursday. Uh, Wake Forest, they were 11 and three last year. They'll win this game. All right, you then you got on Friday. On ESPN, you got Michigan State versus Western Michigan. Michigan State is a 22 and a half point favorite. Uh, yeah, give me, give me, give me the Spartans. Give me the Spartans as uh, Peyton Thorne will return as their quarterback. They went 11 and two last year. Did the Spartans? Mel Tucker got a big contract extension, well deserved contract extension in the off season. So uh, Spartans, uh, Spartans should win that game easily. All right, then Saturday's game, you got Texas A&M. They're going to face Sam Houston. A&M, uh, this is an early game. A&M's ranked in the top ten again. They finished 8-4 and four last season. Uh, Hayes King will be the starting quarterback this season. So uh, A&M will make quick work of Sam Houston. That game is not going to be close. It'll be over probably in the quarter and a half. The game will be over with. All right, then you got Michigan and Colorado State. The Wolverines, big reigning Big Ten champions, went to the uh, college football playoff last year where they finished 12-2 and two and they lost to Georgia. They got Killed by Georgia, but uh, they should have no problems with uh, Colorado State. Give me Michigan and uh, over the uh, over the Rams. All right, then you got NC State. They're uh, they're on. They're going to go on a road. As NC State's ranked my third team in the country, they finished nine and three last year. They'll go on a road to play East Carolina. NC State. Uh, give me NC State to win that game, but give me give me. I, I would uh, actually. I don't think they're going to cover. Just my opinion, but first games of the year it's hard. First games of the year are really hard to uh, are hard to uh, gauge what's going to happen. But NC State should win. But I'm going to say they're not going to cover 11 and a half. Then he got then he got the first uh, ranked matchup between two teams, Oregon and Georgia. Uh, of course, Georgia won the national title last year. Oregon, uh, their coach bolted from Miami. Dan Landing went from Georgia to Oregon. Uh, Georgia is a 17-point favorite in this matchup, and they're not really they're not really giving Oregon much chance at all. Give me Georgia by 10. Georgia's going to win this game, um, but uh, it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard. Kind of hard to gauge with, with teams. It's all on potential. You, you look at the ranked matchup. Oh, Oregon ranked number, uh, ranked number 11. You know they should uh, they should be at hand with Georgia a little bit, right? But Vegas says no. But wouldn't be surprised. It wouldn't surprise me at all if Georgia blew the brakes off of Oregon. But give me Georgia in a close game, like ten points. All right. Then you got UTEP and Oklahoma. Oklahoma, of course, they lost. Uh, they lost their coach to USC last season. 
<clears throat> and then uh, they pick up they pick up Clemson's defensive coordinator. He was Oklahoma's defensive coordinator, Brent Venables, at one time. So he's been a defensive coordinator for, for a very, very long time. And what you always heard about Brent, Brent Venables was he didn't want to be a head coach. Well, now he's a head coach. As Oklahoma is a 31-and-a-half point favorite with UTEP. Oklahoma should win that game uh, pretty comfortably. Uh, will they cover 31-and-a-half 31, 31 points? I'll say yeah. I'll say yeah. All right. Then you got Miami. They, they're going to play Bethune, Miami Hurricanes, new coach, Mario Cristobal. Hurricanes ranked, what, 16 in the country. Miami, what, they finished 7-5 and five last season. Uh, give me Miami. Doesn't show a spread on here on ESPN app, so there must not be a line. But Miami should win that game pretty comfortably. All right, then you got Cincinnati and Arkansas, another ranked matchup. The Bearcats went to the college football playoff last season, lost to Bama. Arkansas had a good, great year for them last year. They had a nice bounce-back year. They were, they've been down for a while. But Sam Pittman looks like he has Arkansas heading to the right direction. So, uh, with Arkansas, Cincinnati. Let's see. The spread is Arkansas by it's about six. And yeah, give me the give me the Hogs at home. I think the Hogs will win, and I think the Hogs will cover that. And right, then you got Houston and Texas San Antonio. Houston last year went twelve and two in the American American Athletic Conference. I believe this is their last year. Them in Cincinnati and BYU and UCF. I think it's their last year in the uh, in the AAC before they go to the Big Twelve. But Houston, uh, Houston uh, is only what is that, is that a four point favor? Let me see. It's only four. It's only four points over Texas San Antonio. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. Vegas. Give me Houston. Give me Houston. Give me Houston by a lot. Then you got Troy going on the road to face Ole Miss. Ole Miss had another. Ole Miss had a good year last year. They went ten and three under uh, Lane Kiffin, but of course they lose Matt Corral. They're uh, well, they're a very very good quarterback for them, but Ole Miss. Ole Miss should have no problems with Troy. Uh, give me Ole Miss and a uh, and a cover. Then you got BYU. BYU going on a road to face South Florida. BYU. BYU is ranked number twelve in the country. They were ten and three last year. Uh, yeah, give me BYU. Give me BYU. Uh, I mean South Florida. They've been they haven't been really that good lately. Last several years. Give me BYU and uh, by a lot. Then you got Rice and USC. USC. You no, know, they were. Four and eight last year, and they're ranked somehow in the top, uh, in the top by like, fifteen. Uh, yeah, they're they're what fourteen in the country, and they're they're favored by thirty two and a half over Rice. I mean, they should even if they were four and eight, they should take care of Rice. So give me USC by a bundle. I know they got a lot of transfers from. I know they got a lot of transfers in the transfer portal, but uh, that's one of the reasons why they are ranked now is because of that. But yeah, but USC should make quick work of Rice. Shouldn't be too much. Shouldn't be much of an issue. Then you got Utah and Florida. This is a very intriguing matchup. Utah ranked in the top ten. They're going to Gainesville, going to the Swamp to play Florida. And you know what? I'm picking Florida in an upset. Give me Florida in an upset over Utah. People call, call me crazy, call me what you want. But uh, I like Florida in this game. All right, then you got Baylor and Albany. Baylor, of course, won the Big 12 last Big Twelve last year, won the Sugar Bowl. Baylor should win that game over Albany. Should be much of a problem. Then you got Wisconsin. Illinois State, that's uh, Wisconsin. So Wisconsin record last year was nine and four. I mean, they're not they're not going to lose it. They're not going to lose to Illinois State. So Wisconsin, uh, of course, there's no spread on this one either. But the Wisconsin should make quick work of them. Then you got Kentucky and Miami, Ohio. As Kentucky last year was ten and three, I believe. Let's see my notes. Ten and three. Look at that. I was right. Ten and three. As uh, Mark Stoops is doing a very, very great job over Kentucky. He's making them a, a 10 game uh, a year winner, which for Kentucky is uh, that's, that's, that's a, one of the Super Bowl for them. Uh, Kentucky should make quick work of Miami, Ohio. The spread's like 16 and a half, I believe. Yeah, Kentucky. Kentucky should win that game by more than that. Then you got Utah State and Alabama. Alabama, of course, won the SEC but lost to Georgia in the national title game. Bama brings back uh, a lot of players in that football team. And, uh, of course, they recruit in a high level. Bama's not going to lose Utah State. That game is not going to be close at all. Uh, it'll be close when it's 0-0 or 7 nothing, and that's about the only time it'll ever be close. All right, then you got Notre Dame and you – sorry, Notre Dame and Ohio State. Excuse me, Notre Dame and Ohio State, another ranked matchup. As uh, the Buckeyes are 17-and-a-half point favorites over Notre Dame. The game will be in the horseshoe. Um, of course, Ohio State is a uh, – 
there are a lot of people's picks to be in the national title game. Uh, mine too. Uh, man, 17 and a half points is a lot of points. But uh, they are very, Ohio State's very, very talented. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me. It wouldn't shock me if this game was over that. It wouldn't shock me at all if this game was under that. Uh, but give me Ohio State. Uh, you know what? Give me Ohio State and 17. They're favored, by, they're, favored, they're favored by 17 and a half. So give me 17, which means they don't cover. But Ohio State should win this game. Uh, they should. Then you got the, then you got the last game uh, that's involved ranked teams. You got Clemson going on the road. Sorry, going on the road. Excuse me. Going uh, to place Georgia Tech in the Georgia Dome, which uh, Clemson's not very far from Georgia Tech uh, in Atlanta. So uh, uh, they'll be well represented in that in that stadium, probably more than Georgia Tech is. So Clemson should win that game by uh, they should win that game easily. Uh, Georgia Tech's not. Uh, I mean they they. I mean Georgia Tech used to have good teams back in the '90s and the uh, early 2000s, but uh, they have really fallen off the cliff. Um, they're not in they're not in the same stratosphere as Clemson. They don't have the talent. They don't have. They don't mean they don't have anything that can compete with Clemson. So Clemson should win that one by a lot. So, there it is, guys. There's your top 25 uh, preview of week one. So, uh, I'll see you guys next time. And, uh, have a good one.